Welcome back everybody. We are continuing on with Interstellar Rift today and I thought since we have a good amount of the mechanics under our belt, like we've done a little bit of combat, we've, we've opened up a rift, we've done some crafting and mining and things like that, and we've also updated our ship and whatnot, I thought now would be a good jumping off point to go into a multiplayer server. So pretty much getting out of the shallow end and, and making our way into the deep end. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I go into a server that's going to be up all the time. So basically I'm going to definitely do one of the official servers here and split polygon is the developer. So I would assume that they are going to make sure that these servers are up and they're playable and they're updated and whatnot. Uh, so since I am in North America, we're going to do one of the NA servers here, North America. And I thought instead of pvp because i really don't want to do that just quite yet i think maybe in the next uh, series we will do a pvp but i thought we'd jump in to do a pve so i think this is going to be our server so this is an official server by split polygon north america and it is a pve so and it looks like the ping is pretty good for me as well i can pick any any of these servers would probably be all right i think this server like this one here it wouldn't be good for me on multiple <laughs> multiple levels because I do not speak whatever that is and it the ping is bad. So anyways, so this is the server we're going to start in and let's just kind of jump right in and see what see what happens. So here we go. And I'm excited. So it's nice. So like I've been playing on my local servers and I've just kind of been playing alone. So it would be nice to see other people in the universe or in the in the in the game playing along with me and also it'd be nice too which i think i'm going to start doing a live stream of interstellar rift and it would be nice if some of the players would come along with me like we can pilot a ship together we can do the things together and whatnot i'm going to go ahead and go and pick hurls again because i'm very familiar with them and since i'm in sort of an unfamiliar territory with going on a multiplayer server then I think I want as much familiarity familiar I want it to be as familiar as possible. <laughs> there we go. I felt like a cartoon character there. Okay. So we're gonna pick hurls and I'm not gonna go over what these other factions are. I did go over them a few videos back, so if you want to see those, go ahead and go there and then watch that. But hurls is basically like a trading, so this is a mining and resource uh, selling. So this is the one we're going to go with. And I, again, I'm more familiar with this one, so let's just jump right in. So very cool. Yeah, it'd be really nice if, like, on the live streams, I'm going to probably start doing them in, in about a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. We're going to do a live stream. So be on the lookout for those. But it would be nice if some of the players or some of the viewers of those live streams can come and help me pilot ship and, and do things and whatnot. And uh, we can become, like, the uh, Star Trek crew. <laughs> I I call I call Spock. I want to be Spock. So okay, so here we are. Uh, welcome to the official Split Polygon PVE server in North America. I feel welcomed. Okay, so this is all going to seem very familiar. We don't have a ship yet, and we're just a player, so we're going to have to buy a ship. I don't see anybody else around at the moment. So, which is pretty good. Uh, I, you know, I'm just gonna kind of cruise around here just a little bit, and just see if there is anybody around here. Let's go buy our ship first. Let's go do that. Let's get that out of the way so we have a ship. And I would assume that oh, we have three choices here. We have a Mark One that is six hundred ninety-nine thousand, or effectively seven hundred thousand, and then we have another Mark One that is. So much more expensive. I wonder. Let me go ahead. Let me pick this one. Let's just show preview of that one. So that's the two million one. Let's see what the specs are here. So we have. I don't know if there's anything better. Let me see here. So I know the one that we got from the single player campaign. Uh, cargo pad, so six, that's, that's the one, that's how many, so there's like three downstairs and three upstairs in the cargo pad. Um, 
three ion engines, yeah, cockpit large, directional sign, disposal unit, you had one of those, uh, double terminal had a bunch of those, excavator, that's very important, so that was on the other one as well, so that's on a cheaper one, I know that, floor fans, hydrogen generator, life support systems, huh, I'm trying to see, there was a locker on the other one, there's nothing major on this one that I would like, Maybe it's bigger, so I would assume, I don't know what these icons are exactly, but I would assume the bigger these are, the better. So I, I something I think, like this is probably armor. This is probably power or shielding. This is shielding, so it doesn't have any shielding yet. And I would assume this is the basic weight. And I don't really know what this one is. So, okay, so let's just kind of look here. Oh, so it has an assembler. But is that the same assembler as the regular assembler? I'm not too sure. No, what this is, um, this is like if you die and need to respond, or respond, respawn, then the molecular assembler will, you can respawn on the ship. So the other, the lower, lower priced ship had that as well. I'm thinking. Uh, so there's nothing here that's special. I don't know. Do you guys know? Let me know down in the comments if there's actually something here that is different. Yeah, I don't see anything different there. So let me look at the specs here again. Wait, 33, 26, 39, right? And if we check, if we choose this one. That's the same, same, same. It's the same everything. Oh, this is the Mark One, right? The Mark One, and that's the Mark One too. I wonder. That's really weird. So we're just gonna go with this one because, you know, that's the one we went with on our playthrough so far. So we're very familiar with that one, and it looks it looks similar. So we'll go with that one. Okay. So enough putzing around here. Let me go just kind of cruise around. There's a little bit of lag there. Or I was stuck either way. Okay. I'm kind of curious. I don't see anybody around. I heard something. That's weird. I'm hearing noises. See if there's anybody in here. Let's kind of take a quick look around. I don't see anybody. I bet you a lot of times, probably, maybe, we got some people in here. No, it doesn't look like there's anybody mining. Well, that's good. We got the run of the place. So that's cool. I'm just going to... Let me go out here. Because I'm kind of curious. Alright, so let's exit to menu. Confirm. And I'm going to go back in. And this was the server here. So there's seven people there. So, yeah. So we probably not gonna, there's not a lot of people at the moment. So this one has 23 out of 32, so that's a lot more people. So I wonder, should we go on the other one? Well, let's just go on this one. We'll see. And if we don't find what we're looking for, like if we're still kind of lonely, we'll go to that one. But that's fine. So yeah, there's just not a lot of people in there. Which could be good, I guess, maybe? Again, my main purpose of going into a multi multiplayer server like this or a public server, I should say, is that when I do go and do my live stream, you guys can come along and and uh, help me out. All right, so very cool. So let's do the basic things that we need to do. Let's go ahead and get our ship space ready. Uh, I should have went the should have done a shortcut here, but that's okay. We'll go the long way around. Hello. There we go. Okay, so let me see here. Let's go get our... Where am I? Oh, here we go. I forgot my way around. It's been a couple days. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to our vault. Our vault is over here. And grab our stuff. So let's go ahead and grab our repair tool. And then grab our repair tool ammo. Grab both of those. Confirm. And let's get ahead, get our those, get our laser. 
ammo and that. We'll grab this and then we'll grab the rest of the hydrogen here. Okay, so we're full up. And let's go ahead and go over into our ship and load it up. Make sure, yeah, there's a few ships here. So there's one there and one there. So I think those are other players. Yeah, and that's me. Okay, cool. So let's go over to our ship and get it uh, space ready. Put it, fuel it up. <laughs> did I not hit the button? Did I not? I didn't hit the button, did I? I'm just sitting here going, da derp. There we go. Now I hear it. <laughs> you gotta hit the button. Again, I wish they put the controls inside. Inside the teleporters, but they don't. It looks like there's a lot more rocks out there that I'm used to. I'm looking for other ships as well. Oh, I don't see any. Okay. So let's go fuel up and get our life support rocking and rolling. Okay, so you're all fueled up. And let's put our oxygen in here. There we go. We are now, our life support is now fueled up as well. Let's go ahead and put in our ammo and our nanobots. And we shall be going on a little adventure. Oh, there we go. And nanobots in there, just in case we get into a fight. And also our laser ammo in there, just again, in case we get into a little fight. 1200 out of 1200, very good. All right. And this is the same cockpit, yeah, same cockpit. Let's go ahead and do that. Turn on our lights. Because it is actually very dark in here. One of the things I want to do, I think, is put some more lighting in here. When I do go in to modify the ship. So, <laughs> it is awfully dark. Okay. So that's cool. Everything is ship shape. Alright, so the first thing I really want to do is I want to modify this ship. We don't have the resources just quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the process of mining and whatnot. And we do have an extractor here, but we don't have a refiner yet. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put a refiner on the ship. But to do that, we need resources. So we're going to go and do that at the station in those mining bays. Uh, industrial complex. And let's just go to the arrival bay first because I do want to get that other hydrogen out of storage. And then we'll go and mine a bunch of resources. And what I'm going to do though is I'm not going to... Oh, there's someone else. Hello, how you doing? Let's go, buddy. Okay, let's grab our stuff. All right. And real quick, go back to our ship and just put that on there. Oh, you know what I can do? We can actually go to the mining bays and we can teleport that to our ships. So let's go do that real quick so we don't have to We'll be in the mining bays. Where'd that guy go? Where are you? Oh, I see some stuff here. Someone's got some oxygen in there. So someone's using that one. So let's go ahead and use this one. We'll teleport our junk to our ship to our and we'll do it on that cargo or that that uh, that cargo pad looks good to me someone left their oxygen there so I wonder if that guy is doing the stuff here maybe I don't see him okay so anyways what I was gonna say what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and just get a bunch of resources so we can get uh, some upgrades to our ship. And but I'm not gonna. I'm going to just kind of fast forward because I know you guys know how to do this already, and I'm not gonna bore you. Because <laughs> we can have like talk. We can just talk for the whole time and whatnot. Um, but that'll be boring. So what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna do a bunch of resources here. We're gonna mine, refine, and uh, go from there. So I'll be right back.
All right, so with this last batch here, let's just put this in the in the vault. With this last batch here, I think we would have enough for some pretty good upgrades on our ship, at least for a refinery and maybe even a a few things a few other things like maybe some more turret or whatnot so yeah so we have we should have enough for we may need a little bit more we can come back and get some more but i think we're good so okay so let's go do that let's go back upstairs oh and i did find out how to see if anybody's on the station with you so if you go to your grip omni tool here and then go into status and chip status and then players on board uh, so we have nova fish here uh, is on board so there's one other person on board with us so we'll be on the look for him or her as the case may be but right now let's go into the constructor here i'm gonna go let me see here i just want to go on the one back here because it's probably the least used and let's go into modify ship oh and yeah okay so that's the excavator that's ours and then modify okay so let's go ahead and put on a refinery and uh, we'll see what else okay so here's our ship as usual and last time like we've been putting refinery just right in this sector here in this section but i think maybe we want to put it in a different spot let me let me look at the overall deal here so we usually put it right in this corner over here yeah I think I'm gonna do that so just for time's sake let's just go ahead and put it there and we'll go ahead and fill out a room here just like so so that's our new room and then let's go ahead and put in where's our thing here resources and small refinery and we'll go ahead and flip that around to where it makes sense just like that and there we go so our small refinery and I'm not gonna make it look too pretty but I do want to make it look functional so let's go ahead and put in some I think lighted lit walls so maybe deco wall deco wall deco wall uh, yeah these these look okay let's just put these in this should light up the room a little bit, maybe. We don't need to put one there because that's where we're going to put the door. So, yeah, so the door is going to go right here. Uh, and if this doesn't light it up right, then we'll be okay. If we don't put lights in here, it'll be very dark. <laughs> and we'll just have to use our flashlight. But, it should be okay. So, there and there. Okay, so that should be all the walls. Let's go ahead and put in our door. And this is the door that we use. So you can see this door here as this door here. But I find this door, the type one, I find it a little bit easier to open when I'm running around. So I'm gonna put in the type one here. And then what we're gonna need, let's go ahead and I think we can color that as well, if I'm not mistaken. So let's color that to, I think, uh, uh, <laughs> kind of wanna, yeah, there we go. So that kind of fits, wait a minute. I don't know what we're using here. So I think we'll just go with what we had there. That'd be fine. I think that'll fly, that's fine. Or maybe this one, is this the one? No. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when I do make my own ship, I'll actually know. Like one in a in a little while, we'll go ahead and make our own ship, and then we'll go ahead and make our own color scheme. But I think we have some reds here, and that's kind of red. That's not the same red, but I don't want to go ahead and try all these. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just continue on here. So we do need now. I don't know if the flooring works here. So like this flooring. Oh, maybe that'll work. But I think what actually works better here, because we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and delete this. Yeah, because this right here, that graded stuff here, 
that's walkway instead of flooring. So it's not really going to fit. So let's just take that out. I do want to take that out as well. So that, that railing there. And we'll just go ahead and we'll use, where is it? We we'll use, there it is, walkways. And it's a combination of these two. Yes, yeah, so there's one, there's two, and then this one will go right in the middle like that. Yeah, so that, that works. That works fine. And there we go. So there, there's our new, our new thing. I think we want to put ceilings on as well. Let's go ahead and put a ceiling on just to make sure we have some light in here. Go ahead and just put that ceiling on just like that. Looks good to me. And then we'll go ahead and put on some industrial ceiling here, here, and there. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Okay, so there's that. And I did want to put in, in the cockpit here, where is the, where are we here? So we have to go, it's kind of weird looking at it this way. So we have to go up. So up one, like that. And I think up one more, because the cockpit is going to be up here. There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in some more kind of ceiling tiles, but light ceiling tiles like these or these. Yeah. So we'll put in some of these, I think just like that, that should light it up a little bit in there because it's very dark. So <laughs> alternately we can actually put in these as well. These little pillar lights put in something like that that yeah we'll put in a pillar light that should light it up nicely it's a little red pillar light okay cool so there's that so let's go ahead i just want to go down here a little bit and i'm going to scope out what else we can put in here so if we go down one more level yeah let's see here so there is our refinery and if we put in, I think up a level here, we could put in something here above this walkway. But let me see here. So let's go ahead and save this and see if we have enough resources first. So we'll do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, we have enough resources. So this cost, yeah, so that did, didn't cost as much. It, cost a lot of steel wow okay we'll accept that confirm so let's go ahead and wait for that to build and then we'll go ahead and check it out there we go perfect all right let's go see our new ship design here I'm excited <laughs> All right, and this is really nothing that we haven't done yet or haven't done before. So I really want to get something else on there. That's that's good. I don't know what I want, though. So, all right, so let's go see what we got here. And there it is. So you can see, like, the walkway here. And then this door. Yeah, this door opens up. Hello, there's no light. I thought I put some lights in here. All right, so we're going to have to fix that. So those don't actually light up. So we'll put a different ceiling tile in and that should, should light up this whole room. Um, but that's it. So that's our thing. <laughs> that's our uh, refinery. Okay. So let's go look at the cockpit. Let's see how lit up that is now. How lit it is. Yeah, that's better. It's much, much nicer in here. Uh, like that. There we go. Yeah, so even if we have our flashlight off, that's much better. So there's our pillar, there's our new ceiling tiles, and that makes it a little bit better. Now I wish there was one, some way to actually brighten up the actual cockpit. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, I don't know. But that's, that's better. Okay, so very cool. So let's go ahead and let's go back into build mode and see, what we, see if there's anything else that we can tack on there. Uh, that, and then up to the Rival Bay. Very cool. Seems like a less less asteroids out in the window now. 
Okay. All right, let's go back in building mode here and see what else we want. Oh, there's my other, there's the other player. He's doing the same thing. All right, modify ship. Our ship, modify. All right. And there's another thing I forgot to do here. So this is where we put the refinery. So let's, let's fix that up a little bit. And I forget which tile. So we have one by one by one tiles, two by one by ones, two by two by ones, two by two by twos. Uh, what we need here for these sections, I think are, well, this is two two by ones, but I think let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And those are, no, those are actually one, two, one, two. So four by ones. And then these are two by ones. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So I think these, it's one by one by one. Let's see what we got here. No, that's definitely not it. Let's go in the two by two by ones, two by one by ones. And this, is this it? No, we need something a little bit taller than that. And let's see here. I'm still not used to looking at all these and seeing exactly what we need. Oh, I think that may be it. Nope, that's even smaller. <laughs> uh, put something like that on there. It's neat. What's this? Huh, do I want these then? No, can't be. Because, yeah, so that's that'll, that's a filler there. We just need to find the right one. Which is... Hmm, this one? No, we need something that's... You guys are probably like, it's right there! Yeah, yeah. This one. There's the one we want. Ta-da! Alright, so put those on there. Like that. And I'm rotating these things with the... Arrow keys, by the way. I'm rotating the ship with the alt and then the mouse. Uh, let's go ahead and put one here. Like that. And one there like that. Then we just need to find these corner pieces and also... And also the one under here. So two of them under here. So just like that. Beautiful. Now we just need to find these little corner pieces. So that's one by one by one. So let's look in there. Let's look in there. And those, is this it? Is this, is this it? Yep, I think that's it. Or not. Oh no, so we need a, okay. I see what we need. Do we have one of those? <laughs> it's very hard to tell. No. Hmm. I hope we do. That's a very small. So that's a very small one of what we need. It would be nice if these were in columns of some sort. It's kind of. It's gonna get. It's gonna take time to get used to this building system. That's for sure. Yeah. So we need that, but we need it taller. And that's this one. Is it this? No. So again, it would be nice if that was in the column. So it's this one, but we need it to be that one, but taller. So let's see. Oh, this one, I think. There it is. Ah. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. And then what we'll do is over here, we'll just finish this off like a pod. So, just like that, perfect. And then I think if I can zoom in here a little bit. Again, I'm still not used to this completely, so excuse me for my... Um, how am I going to get in there? Just like that. OK, 
Okay, so that's not gonna work because, oh, I see there's a piece in there that's gonna make that impossible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that rough. So we'll just leave that rough and I think we got a good, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're okay. So we'll just leave that a little bit rough. I'm not too worried about it. And then obviously the last thing to do here is to give it some color. I think it's this one. Is it that one? No, that's too bright. This one, there it is. Okay, so we'll color it in and I wanna give it a little pizzazz as well. So we'll give it a little pizzazz, a little bit of secondary color. We got a secondary color up there, that red. So maybe we'll kind of use that. Or do we want a tertiary color? I think we can do a tertiary, like a white or a black. All right, so let's go ahead and do hmm, white. So I just want to put a like a stripe. Oh no, that's too bright. Or is it? It's just because it's on the sun. That too bright, or is it me? And then we'll just do like that. And then like that, just to finish it off. Ooh, no, actually. Let's go ahead and make those back to this color. Yeah, that works. Sorta. <laughs> Ain't, ain't perfect, but I like it. So that'll give me, so if I see my ship out in space, I'll be like, oh, that's mine. Because it has the white stripe there. Cool. I like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix our, uh, fix our lighting in our, <laughs> in our refinery here. Okay, so let's go into lighting and then the ceiling tile. I think just this one, just right here, would be fine. Yeah, so that you can actually see it now. It's lit up. Okay, that's cool. Now, um, I just want to kind of go over what else we can do here. So these are the resources, and we have ram scoop. That's neat. Some ram scoops, strip miner. All right, so I had a little bit of technical issues there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's good for now and then come back a little bit later. What is that? Oh, that's the uh, extractor. So yeah, so we'll do that. And yeah, does that look different? Oh, that's the uh, cargo bay or the cargo for it, okay. So very cool, so that's good. So let's save that. And I'm sure we have enough, yeah, we have enough. Confirm. All right, so that's very cool. Is our friend still there, our friend still there? How you doing friend? Nova Fishy. All right. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and fly around a little bit and do some uh, missions. So what I did find out, or at least I think, Let's go into our grip here. Is the events, these are building things. So I'm not sure how they work in this multiplayer. And it doesn't look like I can even, what you call it there, faction events, vectors. So I'm not really sure how these are gonna work in there. So they're, they're pretty cool in, the single player mode where you can actually build other stations. You like bring resources to these places and build. But I'm not really too sure. So it doesn't look like they're activated here. Or maybe it's because I don't have enough reputation with them. So who knows? I don't know. But what we're going to do, let's go ahead and... Uh, what's going on there? Let's go ahead and find ourselves a nice little mission to do here. So it looks like, I wonder what, why the different colors. So it looks like, a th I'm pretty sure these are ours. Like we can do these. Not really sure why we can't do that one. It's kind of blacked out there. So I'm 
not really too sure about that, but let's go ahead and push back against the horde. We can do that one. That's a little bit of fighting. But I think here, we'll do this one for now. So this I know, excuse me, I know we can do. So we're looking for a captain that is willing to transport payload of a whole bunch of hydrogen to hydropack station in the system. Okay, so let's accept that. And then we will put it over to our ship and let's go do that. Very cool. So that is very cool. I'm not sure, like I saw the other ships on there on the teleporter screen. I'm not sure if I can actually teleport to them or they have a lock on them. So I'm not sure if any other people can teleport here to us. So that's kind of interesting. Um, very cool. Okay, so we have all the hydrogen that we need. And let's go ahead and look real quick at our new lighting situation here. We should be better. Yeah, so that's better. So now we have a light and we're looking good. Very cool. So let's go up to the cockpit and go deliver those goods. Huh. <laughs> so this is my first mission in a multiplayer server. So are we all loaded up? Yeah, we're all loaded up there. Nice bright, brightly colored cockpit there. Get into our favorite seat. Okay. So as normal, it should show us, yeah, so here we go. So this is where we're going to be warping to. So let's go ahead and point in that direction. And then target, very cool. Okay, let's get our show on the road here. Very cool. So I came in and went back. I, I went out and came back in because I was having technical difficulties there. It looks like there are still about seven players on the server. So I wonder if you can check how many players are in your actual sector that you're in. That would be interesting. Probably not. Probably not. We are almost there. Wonder if we're gonna get into a fight. I should probably activate my weapons. That might be prudent. Very close now. There we go. Cool. Close enough. Good, good, good. Alright. So I know this station in the single player campaign i don't know if it's a campaign it's a single player it doesn't have too much on it so this well this is the rift hub so so we got some defense drones here which is good good news <laughs> so i wonder if it's any different in this multiplayer and i cut engines right under one there we go. Should be close enough. Very cool. Let's do this. Let's get out of our seat. I don't know if I like that pillar there, to be honest with you. Let's pick up. I don't know how much we need. Okay, let's just look. Let's just grab. I know everything but, like, three of those, so... Grab these, and then these. We may need a few more hands. Oops, get a little closer there. There we go, perfect. Just grab one more just in case. You never know. Let's go to the station and drop off the goods, baby. Hydropix. Um, I wonder, you know, rift chamber, rift chamber, who knows. Not really sure which one would be closer to the drop-off. 
Right, so where is the drop-off? Yeah, this is basically the same station, looks like, so far. All right, oh, there it is. I found it. All right, so let's go ahead and see we need, yeah. There we go. 13,314. Let's go ahead and give them up. There we go, okay. Very cool. So we got a little bit of, what did we get? We got some heated coolant. Cool. Is there a board here for more missions or is it just a drop off? It's very strange that it's just a drop off and no other missions. Yeah, there's no mission board here. Huh. What's this? data core terminal so you can get some cartridges and then figure out what they're for. Is there a mission board up here? Ah, there's one. There's one. Got a Storatron, hyperspace rift generator over there. That's where you get the fuel. Cool. So let's see what we got here. So let's take one more scout system. Oh, that sounds neat. Can we do that one? Never did a scout scouting mission. We need skilled pirate pi, pilot. I almost called myself a pirate. We need a skilled pilot to quickly gather some scouting data in. Oh, I think we're going to have to jump. Find out whether or not is suitable candidate for our business practices. You'll be compensated uh, that. Okay. And looks like we get some standard nanobots. And so this is Planium Mono. Okay, so let's do this because we have to open up a rift for this. So let's go ahead and do this. So is there an easy way to... No, there isn't. Okay, so we're going to accept this mission. I think the missions with the golds, maybe you have to open up a rift because this one was a little gold colored. All right, so, oh, does it show you here where we need to go? I don't know. So this is where we are, Vec Vectron 6. Hmm. So that must be where the last person went the last player so let's look here so we need to go to let's go ahead and look at what was it it was let's just get the messages here mission complete let's go ahead and delete that one scout system so it's plan the plan plan uni plan uni mono plan uni mono okay so we need to search for plan uni. That's the one. Okay, so that's there. So where is that? Okay, so now that's here. That's Vectrix, and this is planning. Okay, so there. All right, so let's go ahead and see how much we need. So let's set to our ship. No, not a current ship, set to our ship. So we need 143 of the fuel. Okay, so that's easy enough. We go over here to, where is it? There it is. <laughs> I found ya. Wait, okay. So this is where we buy the fuel and it is right there. Oh no, they don't have any in the station. <gasps> oh no. Can I try to I can't buy it? No. Oh no. <laughs> well that's not awesome. So we're not gonna be able to do that. 
So let me just see here. Um, what is that? That's um, Xanthium. Okay, so let's just see what we need for that. So maybe we can craft it. Uh, what do we need here? Search. Oh no. <laughs> Beryllium. We can get the deuterium. I know how to get that. And nitrogen. So do we have that here though? We need a small refinery. We have one of those. So we need beryllium, deuterium I know how to get, nitrogen. So let's see, what do we need for that? So we just need beryllium asteroid. I don't think we're going to find that. Oops. Uh, let's see here. So do we have anything here? No, we don't have it here. Of course we don't have those here. So we can't buy those, and I know we don't have anything for... Well, we're going to have to abandon that... Hello, plant. We're going to have to abandon that mission, I think. I'm not really sure where else to get the Xanthium. All right, so I'm going to have to remember that. So that mission we can't do. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and... And we're going to have a penalty for this, but let's go ahead and, because we're not going to be able to do it, and we might as well get it out of there. So missions, scout system, abandon. Will cost you zero. Okay, so didn't really cost us anything. Fine. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. So precious cargo. Sounds like right up our alley. So we have a shipment of Skrill teeth. Now Skrill are the some of the like NPC hostiles. So we'll do that. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go deliver our Skrill teeth. And then go deliver our Skrill Teeth. <laughs> Too much. I wonder if the Skrill deal in human teeth. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and also let's un unburden ourselves with this stuff here. Do that. We'll put this stuff over here because we don't really need it, but it's goods that we have. Oops. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep the scroll teeth there. It's fine. I wonder. Hmm. Hold on. Is there any asteroids here? No, there's not, no asteroids there. If they were, they would show up here. So. All right. Let's do this. One last mission. All right, so no firing zone. Okay, so we need to go to, there we go. That little blinky blink there. We're gonna have to go past the planet here now. There it goes. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, that was good. So we're pretty close. And I don't see any enemies. So we should be good to just kind of go in. Although we got to kind of be careful here, I think. Because there's no, doesn't look like there's any defense satellites or drones. So if we hear some firing, like that. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's go take care of this. All right, where is he? Where's the bugger? I see him. Where are you, buddy? Slow 
down just a little bit. Is he gone? Did he get killed? I think he got killed. Protection drone. So yeah, those must have killed him. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Problem solved. I was close enough to the station that those guys took uh, took him out. And by the way, you can see our nice stripe there. Nice white stripe. I like it. Okay, very cool. So, good stuff there. All right, so let's take it out of flight mode. There we go, perfect. All right, let's go deliver our things. Grab them from our vault. Skrill teeth. <laughs> Whatever. What's here? Anything here? No, nothing mineable. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this station looks like. I don't think I've ever been here, even on the single player. So we shall see. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I've been here. Where is the drop off? Oh, can we cook something? <laughs> the cupboards are bare. <laughs> what kind of kitchen is this? All right. Only thing edible in this kitchen is that plant, probably. Life support systems. Where's the drop off, guys? Is that it? Do I see it? Yeah, I see it down there. There's a the drop off. Okay. There's another one. <laughs> okay. All right. Access denied. Go back downstairs. Going through here. There we go. Perfect. We can do missions here. I wonder what that, why it's blue and why it's kind of grayed out. Let's, can I accept it? Ah, uh, that's why. Tier 3 Voltron, so I don't have the, uh, I do not have the correct credentials. But that should, f uh, that'll be, I'll get those soon enough. <laughs> Alright, give whoever this is their scroll teeth. There we go, we got some nanobots. Very cool. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. And uh, we'll definitely make this more exciting next week. So, yeah, so we got all the good stuff out of the way here. Or all the uh, base stuff, like we got our ship ready and things like that. I'm going to probably be adding some more stuff to the ship. Uh, some more useful stuff, maybe a assembler or something like that. And also some other useful things, like maybe some more weapons and more weapon uh, systems and things like that because I know we need to have like CPU and whatnot. Do we need any standard, any bot or any, uh, do we need to top this off? No, we're good. Okay. Just wanted to check that while I still had them in my hand. But yeah, so we'll be, uh, we'll be going on from here. And also the, I will be doing a good amount of live streaming here real soon with this so if you guys want to join me that would be fun too so again i am on uh we might as well just do this so i am on i'll show you the server that i'm on and i am on let's see here which one is it I want to give you guys the right one here so it's this one here so the official split polygon NA for North America, server to PVP only. So that's the one I'm playing on right now. It looks fairly, it's actually probably a good thing. So it looks fairly uh, 
unoccupied so that means like when we do do a live stream that you guys can come join along and we can have a lot of fun and uh, yeah so guys hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified when there's more especially when there's a live stream happening make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and you will be notified i appreciate everybody coming by and watching and i hope everybody's doing fine and staying safe bye for now guys <laughs> <laughs>